Hi, I'm Julianne Moore. And I'm Oliver Hermanis. And we are breaking down scenes from Mary and George. Apthorpe went well then. When you were young, did you ever disgrace your family? Mary doesn't know what happened. Right. But Mary knows that something has happened because he clearly came into her room and has taken her knife, which is mm. quite symbolic, I guess, in the episode of the knife that you used to cut the umbilical cord at right. the beginning. You know where he is because he always goes to that spot. It's like his yeah, favorite spot. He's <laughs> thinking or killing spot. Yes, yeah. You know exactly what to do, find him, and there he is. He's sulking and he's feeling disappointed and ashamed. And you see her speaking to him very directly and really you know, telling him that he's worthy, yeah. that he's worthy of anything. I think that Mary sees a lot of herself in George. I think that's mm -hmm. really what it is. And she almost uses George as a proxy. And and this is her way of saying, like, I believe in you, I've always believed in you, and I, I know you can do whatever you want. He questions, like, how you dealt with disappointing your family, and you say, I raised myself. When you were young, did you ever disgrace your family? I barely knew them. Who raised you? myself. She believes that if you're going to get something done, you have to do it yourself. Yeah. And she yeah. knows that so intrinsically. Right. You might have tripped and fallen, but the king saw you. That's right. And he might think about you. And in your mind, this is a step in the right direction. Yeah. There is no George without Mary. She doesn't particularly baby her children. She is so tough on him, and it's all because she almost treats him like a peer from the very beginning. She's like quite I said, tr truthful with him about yeah, the, like I said, like, like way like the her, world works. Yeah, like her proxy too. It's like, totally. if you are going to achieve this, this is what you want to do. And once again, if you look at it historically, all of her children were really well set up in life. Because I like the idea in that scene that she doesn't have the privilege of somebody supporting her. Mm -hmm. She's just been this self-supporter. Right. And the one thing that she does do for her children is that she knows that's what she can provide, is that she can provide them some kind of road. Just in terms of, of, of her history and her gender, this is somebody who's never had autonomy nor ever will. Yeah. So any kind of authority or autonomy she has is going to be through marriage or through her children. And I think she sort of makes, she makes sure that her children have what she didn't have. Totally. If we tread right, George, he'll be yours. Mine. Ours. So we shot the sort of morning after scene, the big speech with the complicated camera move. That's right. First, and then we waited for it to be dark, and then we just did the, the other bit. But also that was complicated yeah. because I only shot it that way. So there was no coverage. There was no coverage. So it was just like, that's, that's what it's going to be. That's what's exciting, right? Yeah. You know, you live or die on your choice. Totally. 